Welcome to WLA Weekly here at Frank Crane Arena. I'm your host, Tally Campbell. On today's show, we take a look back at Jake Barkley's lacrosse career. We've got your week three results. I talked to Jake Elliott and more. This is WLA Weekly. On Wednesday, May 29th, the lacrosse community lost a Hall of Famer, Jack Barkley. Jack had been failing in health for the last few years of his life. In Barclay's career, he played 441 games, scored 429 goals, and 206 assists. But he will always be remembered for his gritty play with 1,119 pounding minutes. The always colorful Barkley often used his famous and accurate backhand shot or pass. He was fearless, never shy away from the rough stuff. We extend our condolences to wife Sharon and family. Rest Four WLA teams made the subway rankings for June the 3rd. The Barrards landed in second place weekend thanks to their 2-0 weekend. The Shamrocks landed third while the Thunder came in at fifth and the Sandbellies just snuck in at number seven. In game action this week kicked off at the Langley Event Center where the Nymo Timmerin gave the Thunder a run for their money. However, coming up short, 7-5. Blake Kenny had a great night with two goals and one assist while Thunder's Ethan Iannucci exploded with two goals and two assists to take the win. The following night at Queen's Park Arena, the Sandbellies showed the Adonacs whose house they were in with a 14-6 win. The Belly started off with four unanswered goals and then again with seven unanswered goals in the second and third period. On the final day of May, it saw a doubleheader of first Berards versus the Lakers, followed by a battle for first in the WLA, the Thunder versus the Shamrocks. The Lakers and Berards kept it very tight game through 60 minutes. However, the effort by Curtis Dixon led them to a 12-8 victory. Dixon added six goals and three assists. Mount Arena, the battle for first in the WLA was heated and probably the best game so far this season. Victoria at one point take the 6-3 lead, but the Thunder pushed back, but it was enough as Corey Conway would score the winning goal at 17-7, 8-7 Shamrocks to take the first place in the Western Lacrosse Association. On Saturday afternoon, the Timmerman took a visit to Coquitlam, but they were not welcomed as the A shut them down to win 18-7. Cody Bremner in his first game back only netted one assist while taking 10 shots, but Dinsdale for the A's netted five goals while Hickey and Doobie both put up four goals. And the final game of the week, it saw the Berards continue their winning streak and give the Shamrocks their first loss of the season, 13-10. Dixon had another strong night with four goals and two assists. After three weeks, Victoria and Maple Ridge are tied for first with eight points. Langley behind them with one game in hand with six. Bellies with four and A's and Timmerman tied with two, while Lakers are still looking for their first win of the season. We're going now head to the Langley Event Center, where I spoke to Jake Elliott. I'm joined with Jake Elliott, a play-by-play -play announcer for the Langley Thunder. These cages have really got an uproar in this league and many leagues around. What's wrong with them, Jake? Uh, there's a number of things wrong with them, to be honest with you. The, the chin cup and the cage line up directly on the jawline. Uh, any sort of incidental contact, they seem to ride up on the face. They're very close to your face. Uh, the list goes on. There's a number of reasons uh, the cage is just, it's not working. The players don't like them. They don't like the feel of them. They don't like the look of them. And, and the biggest part of all is the safety. They just, we're seeing a, a number of injuries uh, injuries take place. And, and, you know, the top players in this league are, are uh, complaining about it and they want some change and uh, hopefully that comes sooner than later before somebody seriously gets hurt. So is that the resolution? Change the mask? I think so. You know, just the ones that they have instituted just aren't working. They, uh, the testing that they did through the, CAA, uh, the CSA uh, wasn't done through the CLA. It was done through the manufacturers of both masks and the standardized tests that they used were for hockey. And hockey, as you know, is not lacrosse and vice versa. And, you know, they did some impact testing, throwing balls at the mask, but they didn't do the proper type of testing that you need for for lacrosse. And it's, it's showing up uh, all over the province and all over the country. It's just, you know, there's broken jaws, there's uh, fat lips, there's missing teeth. The list goes on. It's just not a, not a good situation for lacrosse in general. So the league just recently created a committee. Do you think they're, you know, doing the proper uh, procedures and process to this? Well, I think they're they're trying to do the right thing. I think it's taking longer than people would like, but you know they're trying to cover their own butts, uh, so to speak, as well. And they don't want to judge too quickly or move too quickly and admit fault or whatever the case may be. So, you know, they have to take their time and do their due process. But 
you know, while this goes on, people are getting hurt. So it's a catch-22. They need something to happen now, but they also have to go through the right channels to make it happen. So looking at some off-season moves right now, the Victoria Shamrocks picked up Scott Ranger, uh, Corey Conway. What was your first initial thought when you heard that? Well, they're making a run for it. You know, uh, they've taken uh, a little time off the last couple of years, and and now they've decided this year they're going to build their team for a championship run, and uh, they've brought in some pretty high-profile players, and you add Matt Vince into that list, probably the best goaltender in the game right now, and they got a pretty powerful roster, and they're going to give Langley a run for their money this year, I think. So talk about the recent trade on Friday between the Quitlam Adonax and Langley Thunder. How does that play out? Well, it was a situation where, you know, the Adnax had some pretty bad injury problems and, and a lot of bodies missing out of their lineup. And it was a, a situation where Langley had too many bodies on their roster and they need to move some guys out. So, you know, the two teams got together, they made a deal, and Langley gets a little help with the future with Daniel McQuaid, a good up-and-coming player. And they uh, unfortunately have to depart with some guys that have been around for a while, and Matt Wilson and Brett Hickey and... Uh, you know, a new guy in Travis Bland. But, you know, I think it's going to work out well for both teams. Uh, the Adnax gets some immediate help with some guys that have been in the league for a while, and, and Langley gets a younger player that can help uh, for the future. So, Jake, do you want this league to expand in other cities across the province? Absolutely. I think it's the goal of every league to expand eventually. But, you know, I, I saw you ask that question to Casey Cook a couple of weeks ago, and, and I think he had the right idea and the right answer. Uh, you have to do it the right way, you know, you try and expand too early and you water down the product and that's something that nobody wants to see. But, you know, there's a few organizations around the lower mainland that are up and coming. Maple Ridge comes to mind. They don't have a junior A franchise yet. We saw, uh, you know, Nanaimo come back in the league a few years ago. Delta's on the rise. They don't uh, have a senior team out there yet. So, you know, we, we'd like to get out to the Valley, I'm sure, maybe another team on the island as well. But it takes time for those minor organizations to to grow and then have the ability to develop into a junior A program and then have the talent to keep that WLA product at the level that you want it to be at. So absolutely, uh, we hope that the WLA will expand and I think it will in the future. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Great. Thanks, Jake. My pleasure. watching WLA Weekly here on VSBN.ca. I'm your host, Talent Campbell. We'll see you next week, but for all your local sports, keep it right here to VSBN.ca. Have yourself a fantastic night.